So um, what motivated me to talk about giving career advice? Uh, well, I, during PyCon, I actually was part of the uh, career fest where I wasn't actually looking for a job, but I was actually uh, promoting the company that I worked for to, um, to people that wanted to find a job. And I was finding that a lot of people, especially the new developers coming out uh, in the market, were having problems understanding what do they want to do in their lives? Or what do they... <laughs> It's like what to, what to expect when they become a developer, right? So, you know, after the um, after the the career fair, I, I came with a Eureka, or at least I wish I was able to go back in time and give back the answer I had. So, a little bit of history. Uh, my first career advice came from my dad, and my dad kind of basically told me, you know, in life you have you you know. You should, take, you should take two routes. Either become a lawyer or become a priest. And the only reason why he basically chose those two career paths for me is because I had this affinity to always constantly argue. And I always constantly argued and argued and argued, and I never, I never came to an end. So my dad said, you know what? You'd be perfect for these two parts because you know, you'll eventually either convince them because they think you're right, or you'll convince them because you're just crazy. So you choose which one it is. So the next, the next stage of the career advice I was getting was actually from schools. You know, high school where they got, you go through career orientation and how to figure out what you're going to end up studying. So my career advice at high school is actually poor. If anything, it wasn't even what I wanted to do. Uh, so they actually advised me to become an engineer, an engineer, an architect. So, blindly followed that, tried to become an architect, terrible. Failed, uh, tried to become a, an engineer, I continued failing, until eventually I actually fell, fell upon a career, um, one of the courses was actually programming in C++. And that was actually the first time I actually got a name. So, voila, so I ended up choosing uh, computer, computer science as a career that I wanted to do. So, but I was, I was always going through the university, and I went through the job market, and I tried to grab any job. I found out that I really, what I was being taught, and what people advised me as what it is to be a programmer, wasn't really what I'm seeing in the market. So, what I saw was this. I saw that the market was actually divided into three parts. You got the, you got the, the development that's done, facing the user, you got the development that has logistics slash math, and you got the, um, the development that's done facing the machine. So if I went back and I was able to talk to these kids again, I'd actually look at it, I would actually explain it to them in this form. i say, well, computing, or at least development, is divided into three parts. So, ah, oh, damn, I'm running out of time. User facing. Communication, find you could communicate. You understand control flow, and you understand how, vi how to visually uh, represent information, then user-facing uh, development is what, you're, what you probably want to do. And this is probably GUI development, API development, and anything that kind of interacts with the user in any form. Logistics math. Uh, focuses on science, focuses on math. I mean, if you have an affinity for algorithms, if you have, uh, I mean, if you cannot write a piece of code and, you, and feel comfortable if there's not a proof behind it, then this is the type of, uh, this is the type of development that you're looking for, which is basically, you're looking for uh, development, let's say computer graphics, um, machine learning, things that have, uh, um, um, dependency on uh, concentrated, uh, what's it called, uh, a proven uh, algorithm. And the third one is the machine facing. This is where understanding protocols, specifications, infrastructure. Um, I have to give it to some people I, that I know here that actually could go through a specification, could read a, do, a specification document and really understand it and not die of boredom. You know, that's, I mean, if you could go in and you could actually read and totally understand how 
procedures work, how, why certain protocols exist, how they, inter how they interact with each other. Um, this would be the type of position for you. Um, this could be anything between system administrating, uh, kernel or uh, hardware, um, device drivers development this, uh, in this form. Um, so, what, what, about Py, uh, what about Python? I mean, what can I say about Python? Or people are asking me constantly, well, what can we do with it? Well, you have to understand, Python is a tool. I mean, it has its capabilities, but don't base your, you know, don't base your career on the fact that you, know, you like developing Python. Base your career on what you're capable of absorbing what, and what tools they use in that, in that field. 